Okay, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to make a little game, and we're going to use a game that actually uses a timer um, to count how long you survive. So when you're going to watch this video, in this video, basically, you're going to use a repeat until loop, which is a new thing. We've all we've done a forever loop before, um, and this time we're going to do this new thing called a repeat until. And basically, when you're done with this, you're, you're going to have the spaceship. That's going to move until he hits the enemy. When he hits the enemy, then he's going to stop moving. And so that's going to be your mission. When you're done with this particular video, you should have that accomplished. Let me show you how to get it done. What you have when you come here, make sure you hit the remix button so that you're saving your work. But when you come in here, you're going to hit your remix. And you have something to start with. Basically, um, you only have to worry about the spaceship's brain. The octopus is fine. He already has all of his uh, brain completely programmed. But if you'll notice, the spaceship says, when you click the green flag, he goes to the middle, faces to the right. and then does this forever where he'll look at the mouse pointer and move seven steps. And so here we go. All day long, he's just going to keep walking to that mouse pointer. Anytime I move the mouse pointer, he's going he's gonna to turn to face it. Now, if you want to get crazy, you can change how many steps he's taking each time, which will make him slower or faster. Um, but that's what we have. Now, at this moment, Nothing happens when he touches this octopus, because he just says he's going to keep doing this forever and ever and ever. So here's what I want you to do. We're going to try out a new block that we've never used before. It's also a control block, so if you'll click this orange tab here, and you see the loops here, all these things with the little arrows pointing back up are loops, right? As opposed to an if statement or an if else, because they don't loop. They only do happen one time. These loops repeat things over and over again. We're using the forever loop, which means he just keeps moving forever. What I want you to do, though, is grab this repeat until loop. And I want you to think about this like a sandwich, top bun, bottom bun. I want you to grab um, kind of the fillings of the sandwich we had, move them over here, get this forever loop out of the way, and we're going to replace it with this repeat until. So don't do this forever. Keep doing this stuff. Keep taking steps, looking at the mouse pointer, taking steps until something happens. Now, um, notice the shape of that hole right there. Uh, what we're going to look for is something of that shape, which is in the sensing. So if you do this, pause me if you need to catch up. Go to your sensing. You're going to find all these blue things. What you're going to find here is the very first one says touching. And notice it's the right shape. It would fit right in there. But I don't really want this to keep going until it touches the mouse pointer. What I want to do is I want it to, if I hit this drop down, there's lots of options. I want to keep going until it hits the octopus. So it's only going to move. It's going to keep taking some steps, keep taking steps until it touches the octopus, and then it stops. So if you'll notice, I'm driving around. When I hit that octopus, now that now your ship stopped repeating the steps. So he's not pointing towards the mouse pointer anymore, and he's not taking steps towards the mouse pointer anymore. That's the octopus is kind of losing his mind, but that's all right. So if you'll notice, now with that repeat until, the movement doesn't happen forever. It just happens until something triggers it to stop. Now, something interesting, just so you can see what's going on. If I grab this say block, now notice, if you... If you notice, you may not have noticed this, but a forever block doesn't have a little, like, Lego attachment down here. Because you can't put anything after it because it's going on forever. And there's not, like, if it's, if you're looping forever, nothing can ever come after forever. So here, I can actually attach this and say, keep doing these things. When you touch the octopus, you'll quit and break out of this loop and come down here and say, ouch. So you can actually put something after it's done. That ouch only happened one time. These two things inside the sandwich get repeated. And that is um, how you could use repeat until block. You can do it for all sorts of things, um, but that's a way to have something keep going but not going indefinitely. There's your repeat until block. In the next video, we're going to make this more of a game and use a timer.